For many years, it was a widely held belief that kidney disease was an inexorable decline, with no hope of halting or reversing its progression. However, recent scientific advancements challenge this outdated notion. A landmark study involving over 400 kidney patients spanning more than eight years has revealed promising insights. Remarkably, experts now affirm that even individuals in the later stages of kidney disease, such as stages four and five, can experience improvement by adopting specific strategies. In today's video, I will outline five crucial steps you can take to take control of your kidney health. Let's dive into these actionable recommendations. Step one. Manage oxalate intake. Eating a diverse range of fruits and vegetables is a cornerstone of good nutrition and is beneficial for kidney health. However, it's essential to be mindful of certain compounds, particularly oxalates, which can pose challenges. Oxalates are naturally occurring substances found in a variety of plant-based foods, including spinach, nuts, and certain fruits. When consumed in excess, oxalates can combine with calcium, to form calcium oxalate crystals in the kidneys, potentially leading to painful kidney stones. The key to managing oxalate intake is not necessarily to avoid these foods altogether, but to achieve a balanced approach. One effective strategy is to enhance your diet with calcium-rich foods. Calcium plays a critical role in binding with oxalates in the digestive tract, which helps prevent their absorption into the bloodstream. When calcium binds with oxalates, it forms insoluble complexes that are less likely to crystallize in the kidneys. Dairy products, fortified plant-based milks, and leafy green vegetables are excellent sources of calcium that can help mitigate the risks associated with high oxalate intake. Another practical approach is to alter the preparation methods of your vegetables. Boiling vegetables, for example, can significantly reduce their oxalate content. During the boiling process, some of the oxalates leach into the water, which you then discard. This method can be particularly effective for vegetables like spinach and beets, which are known to be high in oxalates. By incorporating boiled vegetables into your meals, you can enjoy their nutritional benefits while minimizing the potential for oxalate-induced kidney issues. Fiber also plays a vital role in managing oxalate levels. High fiber foods, especially those containing soluble fiber, help bind oxalates in the gut, preventing their absorption into the bloodstream. Soluble fiber, found in foods like oats, apples, and legumes, forms a gel-like substance in the digestive tract. This gel binds to oxalates, reducing their chances of entering the bloodstream and subsequently forming kidney stones. Including a variety of high-fiber foods in your diet can thus be a proactive measure in maintaining healthy oxalate levels. Maintaining a balanced diet while managing oxalate intake is crucial. Rather than focusing solely on restricting specific foods, aim to create a well-rounded diet that supports overall kidney health. Consulting with a nutritionist or healthcare provider can provide personalized guidance on managing oxalate levels effectively. By adopting these strategies, you can enjoy a varied diet while protecting your kidneys from the adverse effects of high oxalate consumption. Step two. Utilize fiber to combat. Uremic toxins. Uremic toxins are a group of waste products that accumulate in the blood when the kidneys are not functioning optimally. These toxins arise from the breakdown of proteins and other metabolic processes. When the kidneys are unable to filter and excrete these waste products efficiently, they can lead to elevated levels of creatinine and urea, which can be harmful to the body. Managing these toxins is crucial for maintaining kidney health and overall well-being. One effective way to combat uremic toxins is by increasing your intake of dietary fiber, particularly soluble fiber. Soluble fiber forms a gel-like substance when mixed with water in the gut. This gel binds to waste products, including uremic toxins, preventing them from being absorbed into the bloodstream. By binding with these toxins, soluble fiber helps facilitate their removal from the body, thus reducing the overall toxic load on the kidneys. A standout source of soluble fiber is acacia fiber, also known as acacia gum or gum arabic. Acacia fiber is derived from the sap of the acacia senegal tree and is exceptionally rich in soluble fiber, 
containing approximately 85 to 95% fiber by weight. This high fiber content makes acacia fiber particularly effective in managing uremic toxins. Research has shown that individuals with severe kidney problems who incorporate acacia fiber into their diet can experience significant improvements, including a reduction in the need for dialysis. In addition to acacia fiber, other sources of soluble fiber include oats, barley, and certain fruits like apples and citrus. Incorporating these foods into your diet can help manage uremic toxins and support kidney function. For those with kidney disease, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or dietitian to determine the most appropriate sources and amounts of soluble fiber for your specific condition. Overall, increasing dietary fiber intake is a simple yet powerful strategy for managing uremic toxins. By choosing high fiber foods and supplements, you can support your kidneys in filtering out harmful waste products more effectively, ultimately contributing to better kidney health and a higher quality of life. Step three, increase vitamin D intake. Vitamin D is a crucial nutrient that plays a significant role in maintaining overall health, particularly for individuals with kidney disease. Research indicates that a substantial percentage of people with kidney issues have low levels of vitamin D, which can exacerbate kidney problems and affect various bodily functions. Addressing vitamin D deficiency is therefore essential for supporting kidney health and improving disease outcomes. Vitamin D is vital for regulating calcium and phosphorus levels in the body, which in turn supports bone health and helps manage blood pressure. Adequate vitamin D levels can also positively influence kidney function by lowering creatinine levels, a marker of kidney health. Furthermore, vitamin D has been shown to prevent proteinuria, a condition characterized by excess protein in the urine, which is often indicative of kidney damage. To address vitamin D deficiency, a daily intake of approximately 2,000 international units, IU of vitamin D, is generally recommended. This can be achieved through supplements or vitamin D-rich foods, such as fatty fish, fortified dairy products, and egg yolks. Additionally, vitamin D can be synthesized by the body through exposure to sunlight. Spending time outdoors and ensuring adequate sun exposure can contribute to maintaining healthy vitamin D levels. Vitamin K2 and magnesium are often recommended to complement vitamin D supplementation. Vitamin K2 helps in the regulation of calcium metabolism, ensuring that calcium is properly utilized in the bones and not deposited in the arteries. Magnesium, on the other hand, plays a role in converting vitamin D into its active form, enhancing its effectiveness. Combining these nutrients with vitamin D can provide a comprehensive approach to supporting kidney health. For individuals with more severe kidney issues, Specialized forms of vitamin D supplements may be necessary. These should be prescribed by a healthcare provider based on individual needs and blood test results. Regular monitoring of vitamin D levels through tests like the 25-hydroxy vitamin D test can help ensure that you are maintaining optimal levels. Incorporating adequate vitamin D into your routine is a key component of managing kidney disease and improving overall health. By addressing vitamin D deficiency and supporting kidney function, you can contribute to better health outcomes and enhance your quality of life. Step four, address underlying causes. Effectively managing kidney health involves addressing the underlying causes of kidney damage. One of the most prevalent and significant causes of kidney disease is diabetes, particularly type two diabetes. This condition can lead to kidney damage through various mechanisms, including increased blood sugar levels and the subsequent strain on kidney function. Recent studies have shown that even long-standing type 2 diabetes can be reversed or managed effectively with appropriate interventions. For individuals who have had type 2 diabetes for several years, it is possible to achieve significant improvements by adopting lifestyle changes and natural remedies. A critical aspect of managing diabetes is making dietary modifications that can help control blood sugar levels and reduce insulin resistance. One natural remedy that has gained attention is apple cider vinegar, ACV. Consuming one to two tablespoons of unfiltered ACV diluted in water 
before meals can help lower blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Additionally, ACV has been shown to support weight loss, which is beneficial since obesity is a major risk factor for both diabetes and kidney disease. Regular consumption of ACV can thus play a role in preventing and managing diabetes, ultimately benefiting kidney health. In addition to dietary changes, it is crucial to work closely with a healthcare provider to develop a comprehensive diabetes management plan. This may include monitoring blood sugar levels, adjusting medications, and incorporating physical activity into your routine. Effective management of diabetes can significantly reduce the risk of kidney damage and improve overall health. Addressing the underlying causes of kidney disease requires a multifaceted approach. By focusing on diabetes management and incorporating natural remedies such as apple cider vinegar, you can take proactive steps to protect your kidneys and enhance your overall well-being. Collaboration with healthcare professionals and a commitment to lifestyle changes are essential for achieving long-term health benefits. Step 5. Make Dietary Adjustments Dietary modifications are a crucial aspect of managing kidney health and preventing further damage. Simple yet effective changes to your diet can significantly impact kidney function and overall health. By making informed choices and following specific dietary recommendations, you can support your kidneys and improve your quality of life. One fundamental dietary adjustment is reducing sodium intake. Sodium, commonly found in table salt and processed foods, can contribute to high blood pressure and fluid retention. High blood pressure can further strain the kidneys, exacerbating kidney disease. To manage sodium levels, it is advisable to limit the consumption of processed and packaged foods, which often contain high amounts of hidden sodium. Instead, focus on fresh, whole foods and use herbs and spices to flavor your meals. Protein intake is another important consideration, especially for individuals with kidney disease. High protein consumption can put additional stress on the kidneys, particularly if you have existing kidney stones or chronic kidney disease. It is essential to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the appropriate amount of protein for your specific condition. Opt for lean protein sources such as poultry, fish, and plant-based proteins, and monitor portion sizes to avoid overloading your kidneys. Potassium is a mineral that is generally beneficial for individuals with healthy kidneys, but it can be problematic for those with advanced kidney disease. The kidneys are responsible for regulating potassium levels in the blood, and impaired kidney function can lead to potassium imbalances. If you have advanced kidney disease, it is important to limit high potassium foods such as bananas, oranges, tomatoes, and potatoes. Instead, choose foods lower in potassium to help manage your levels effectively. In addition to these dietary adjustments, focus on incorporating complex carbohydrates into your meals. Foods like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables provide essential nutrients and fiber while helping to manage blood sugar levels. Avoid refined carbohydrates such as white bread, rice, and pasta as they can contribute to blood sugar spikes and added stress on the kidneys. Moderation is key when it comes to alcohol consumption, as excessive drinking can impair kidney function and interact with medications. Lastly, staying hydrated is crucial for kidney health. Water helps the kidneys filter out waste and toxins more efficiently. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the appropriate amount of water for your specific needs. By making these dietary adjustments and maintaining a balanced approach, you can support your kidneys and enhance your overall health. Thank you for joining us and subscribing. Stay tuned for more insightful tips and guidance in our next video. Thank you all for taking the time to watch our video today. If you found it helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to not miss out on similar content in the future. Share your thoughts in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.